Hello again everyone, Edwin Lurd back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about astrology and the death of Howard Mudd. Uh, first off, I want to say, well, Howard Mudd uh, was a legendary offensive line coach. He played football at one time uh, as well. And he died tragically as the result of injury sustained due to a motorcycle uh, accident. And he was 78 years old uh, at the time. I'm sure obviously very spry and cerebral playing, uh, coaching in the NFL, riding a motorcycle at 78 years old. I mean, he's, he got around, I'm sure, very well. I'm looking at, I mean, of course, I don't have a time of birth. I had to improvise once again and do a solar slash sunrise chart in which I put the sun at the same position as the ascendant. He was born on February 10th, 1942, uh, sun in Aquarius, moon in Sagittarius. Now, and the thing is, it just shows that that sun and Aquarius, the basic, the want to express ingenuity, being innovative. And he did that in something sports related, the moon and Sagittarius. Now, the thing is, he, he had, uh, had some kind of um, device, something uh, as far as a strategy goes, where the offensive lineman would be in a more attack aggressive mode against the pass rusher as in contrast to being on the defensive. I don't know if he was the person that actually uh, quote unquote invented quote invented invented this or if it was something that maybe a few other people may have done prior to him, but he was somebody, I mean, being a son, of course, obviously nonconformist, somebody that was going to go against the grain, uh, so to speak. But what I want to talk about are some, uh, some natal placements and some transits that might have uh, played a role in his uh, passing. And the thing is, when I looked online, I really didn't look that extensively in terms of there was anything that elaborated on what injuries he specifically had. But looking at uh, the chart, I mean, the first thing, I mean, when you look at like, when you talk about injuries and astrology, Mars obviously could be very uh, prominent uh, in that Mars can be about accidents and injuries he has in his natal chart he has mars in the third house mars and taurus in the third house and mars in the third house by itself can have a propensity for accidents you're talking about uh mars is about accidents the third house of um short journeys and local transportation uh and being and even though being in taurus it just shows that even you know regardless of sign it could still be a somewhat you know some proclivity toward uh, accidents, but with being a Mars and Taurus, it tells me, though, that a lot of his actions were very deliberate, very methodical, um, very, really very plotting uh, in his way. Any action he would take was probably done. I mean, most of his actions were done uh, in that manner, and it tells me that he had a lot of persistent energy as well, but having Saturn conjuncted, very uh, disciplined as well, he has Uranus in the third house in the solar slash sunrise chart, so that could indicate unusual events, things that happen very spontaneously in matters with uh, short journeys. Now, the thing about and, and having Mars and Taurus, obviously that puts it a little bit more prudent than the than the average Mars placement. But uh, and maybe that's and he, maybe he did not have really that many accidents during the course of his life, but he did have one at this time, unfortunately. And at Mars and third house can play uh, a role uh, in that. Now, another thing is is that when I'm looking at uh, looking at his chart. As well, as far as he died, he was in intensive care unit, so that's presumably a hospital that he died in. He had transit Pluto, uh, appears to be in that 12th house based on the solar sunrise chart. That's an indicator of a death in a hospital. 12th house is hospitalization. He also has a uh, transit Saturn in the 12th house, so uh, that could be a time for a lot of introspection, a uh, very introverted period. I have Saturn in my 12th house natally, and that was, it's probably had been a time for him where he really uh, did not want, really be around people quite as much as he usually, as he usually did. Uh, but the thing about it is another thing that I noticed looking at, uh, looking at this chart, uh, at this, um, he has uh, the ruler, 
uh, ruler of the fourth house of the end of life in the twelfth house, which is hospitalization. But the twelfth house is the house of restrictions as well. So it's like that end, that latter part of life, sadly, was restricted due to the injuries he sustained due to the motorcycle accident. Looking at going back to his Mars and Taurus, it makes me think he may have had some injuries that were connected with the throat or the neck area. He also has Chiron in Leo conjunct Pluto, so it's not that surprising that this was a, a death that occurred with him that uh, was tied into physical injuries. And Leo rules uh, the upper back, the spine, and the heart area, so maybe there, there may have been some injuries in that. Uh, and as far as that uh, goes as well, Transit Sun um, at this time, I mean, was at somewhat of a, uh, of a distance from his natal Chiron, about 10 degree, 10, 11 degrees from his natal Chiron, but two weeks ago. Uh, when he had the accident transit sun was likely very close to um, very close to his uh, not far from his natal Pluto and the thing about that is that could when you're talking about Pluto Sun transits in astrology uh, Sun is about is about life and, and Pluto of course is about death and obliteration so these were some issues he had to deal with at the time regarding uh, issues with life and death and also in some cases when you have uh, when you have a transit that involves the Pluto and the Sun uh, and even a, a conjunction especially that is that can give a greater propensity for life coming uh, to an end because remember the Sun is about life Pluto is uh, about death and he had the transit Sun uh, conjunct Chiron during the time he had been uh, in uh, at some point during the time he had been in the hospital that could be an indicator of injuries physical suffering uh, as suffering to the physical body at the time um, and might remember that the Sun uh, being in Leo that could be something heart related maybe his heart had maybe not been beating quite as fast during this time when he was when during in this um, attempt to recuperate during that period and also he has and he had that transit of the sun in the sixth house of health at the time now another thing um, another thing that I'm looking at uh, at this time as well if there's seen if there's anything else uh, as far as transits and natal placements that might have been tied into his passing. Well, looking at in the, in the solar sunrise chart, he has Libra on the cusp of the 8th house. So even though the death was a result of injury sustained from that motorcycle accident, it still, it, it was when he did pass, it was a peaceful uh, time. I mean, being in the hospital, being in, you know, somewhat, you know, seclusion and isolation, uh, at least to some degree. And the ruler of that uh, eighth house, Venus, is in the twelfth house of hospitalization. So, and uh, a thing, another thing, looking at his uh, chart as well. Again, it just really, uh, it's just terrible when you hear about these things that take place. Um, with with people and again not to be redundant as I've stated in previous videos it just shows I mean nobody's impervious or invincible to any to to a passing it doesn't matter if you're famous or I say like you're one of those mere mortals living a very mundane existence uh, at this time as well I'm looking at um, the chart he has transit uh, transit Neptune in that first house and uh, in some cases that could be about the dissolving and dissipation of the uh, vitality of the person. It wouldn't surprise me if he was having perhaps some issues with feet, with his toes, maybe the lymphatic system uh, in some cases. And also uh, transit Chiron uh, is an, was an Aries at this time and it was in that first house in the solar sunrise chart so that could indicate uh, physical wounds to the body and may have been something uh, where it was connected I mean you're talking about Aries as the sign of accidents because it's ruled by Mars and the fact 
is too. There may have also been some injuries uh, to his head and to his face uh, at this time, uh, given that Chiron and Aries can indicate wounds to the face and to the head. I have Chiron and Aries in my natal chart, and I have had a uh, number of wounds, whether it was from some confrontation, physical battle, what have you. I also was bit by a, I was bit by a dog when I was like three years old or something, and I, I mean, it gave me a scar. Uh, on my face because of it. I think it's indelible. I think I still have it actually. I think it's very faded, but it's still there. Chiron and Aries, whether it's in transit or whether it's natally placed, can manifest in injuries to the face, to the skull uh, area. There's really not much more I uh, had to say about um, about uh, about this as far as transits and natal placements and how it might be tied in. Uh, to uh, to his passing, so that uh, so that is pretty much um, that is pretty much it. But anyway, uh, well, people, um, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Learn saying stay well.